It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tally here. More recently, Joe Biden has announced that he's no longer going to be running for president in the United States, and he has decided to pick Kalama Harris as the person for the nomination for the Democrats. Now, for this particular video, I'm going to make an argumentation on why exactly I think that black people should not support somebody like Harris for this particular video. And the main reason why I say that is largely because he has a really dark history when it comes down to the treatment of black people. The first major aspect of Kalama Harris is the fact that she advocates for something that is known as diversity, equity, and inclusion. And for those who are curious what exactly how she defines equity, well, let's listen to this video right here. Equality suggests, oh, everyone should get the same amount. The problem with that, not everybody's starting out from the same place. So if we're all getting the same amount, but you started out back there and I started out over here, we could get the same amount, but you're still gonna be that far back behind me. It's about giving people the resources and the support they need so that everyone can be on equal footing and then compete on equal footing. Equitable treatment means we all end up at the same place. As you guys saw in that particular video, she defines equity as something where everybody, no matter their race, no matter their sexual orientation, or whatever characteristic, all end up at the exact same place. But that idea that she talked about out loud in the video is pretty much impossible. The main reason why I say that idea is practically impossible to actually enforce is largely because people have different interests when it comes down to job decisions. Not every single person want to have the exact same career path as somebody else. And because of the economy, we do in fact know that certain jobs actually pay more than other jobs. And so that particular issue does not necessarily work that way. Another major issue is the fact that many people work different hours and because they work different hours, that will mean that their earnings from person to person is not going to be the exact same earnings and vice versa. Additionally, when it comes down to housing, many people have different preferences when it comes down to housing. And so what she's basically advocating for, just in that particular video clip, is basically communism. She actually enforced the idea of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And it turns out that it actually backfired for the case of Secret Service. To expand hiring, they're aiming to have 30% women recruits by 2030 and even allowed YouTube influencer Michelle Carey to train with agents. But I'm very conscious uh, as, uh, as I sit in this chair now of making sure that we need to uh, attract diverse candidates and ensure that we are developing opportunities to everybody in our workforce, um, and particularly women. That workforce will be pivotal for the 2024 campaign season. As I record this video, the head director of the Homeland Security actually resigned and basically, a lot of the people saw what occurred during that particular assassination attempt towards Donald Trump. And of course, many people openly criticized the fact that the performance was actually lousy. But of course, they want to be more diverse and have 30% more women because obviously, there's not enough representation when it comes down to workplaces. The second thing it's the whole entire notion of black businesses. There are many people that argue and stress that many black people lack many opportunities to actually create jobs. And so there's like a lack of black businesses that are owned directly by black people. Now, back in 2020, everybody knows about the death of George Floyd. And that's a very unfortunate death that actually occurred during that day. 
However, everybody also know that throughout a lot of the time period for 2020, there was like nothing but nonstop riots. And there's actually video footage of Kalama Harris actually encouraging the riots. Protests still happening in yes. major cities across the United States. I'm just not seeing the reporting on it that I, that right, I had that's right. for the first few weeks. That's um, right. But they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. And that's, they're not, this is a movement, I'm telling you. They're not going to stop. And, and everyone beware, because they're not going to stop. It is gonna, they're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up and they should not. And we should not. Not only do we have video evidence of her actually encouraging the riots, but also we have evidence directly from Twitter that she actually wanted to make sure to, to donate money towards the people who actually committed the riots who were sent directly in jail because of their actions. So yes, she encouraged the riots. She also encouraged people to fund money to get these people out to jail and for them to continue the riots. That right there does not call unity and any sort of stretch in the imagination. You cannot support a group that destroy black businesses and also say that you want more black businesses. There's no shadow of a doubt that I'm actually in favor of the legalization of marijuana there have been many scientific studies that show that there are many health benefits for that particular drug. And not just that, but I also think that no government should tell a person what they can put directly in their body. And it's ultimately a person's responsibility as an adult to make sure what to consume or not consume, or eat or not to eat, or to smoke or not to smoke. In other words, because people have that mature mindset about the responsibilities that they actually have, I don't think it's actually a good idea for government to actually tell people what to put in your body or not put in your body, how to modify your body, because ultimately it is your body, it is your choice of what to do or what not to do on that particular issue. When it comes down to Kamala's hair, his history of attacking black people, there's like a long long list of what she have done over the past. Now, it says right here, as an attorney general, her record is much more complicated. She oversaw roughly over 1,956 misdemeanor and felony convictions for marijuana possession, cultivation, or sales. However, defense attorneys and prosecutors and Harris office to Mercury News that most of the people convicted during this period did not serve jail time. Here are another example of this. A close examination of Harris Records show is full of contradictions. She pushed for programs that help people find jobs instead of putting them in prison, but she also fought to keep people in prison even after they were proven innocent. She refused to pursue the death penalty against a man who killed a police officer but also defended California's death penalty system in court. She implemented training programs to address police officers' racial biases, but also resist calls to get her office to investigate certain police shootings. Everybody knows that there's a humongous border crisis happening right now near the United States, and unfortunately for the case of Kamala Harris, she actually advocates for universal health care and Medicare for all illegal immigrants. You support giving universal health care, Medicare for all to people who are in this country illegally? Let me just be very clear about this. I am opposed to any policy that would deny in our country any human being from access to public safety, public education, or public health, period. What do you guys think about my argumentations? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.